let's look at how we can do a network path detection using traceroute. So first of all, I have a machine right here and I want to figure out how things work. So you need traceroute installed. So you do a sudo apt install traceroute. Uh, if you're on a Red Hat machine, you do some like yum install traceroute. Either way, you get traceroute there. This particular traceroute version is the modern traceroute for Linux version 2.1.5. Just so you know, if you look at the man pages, you can see lots of options in here. And this one is more advanced than some of the basic early traceroutes. You can do all kinds of things such as your regular default ICMP. You can do your TCP and they even have UDP down here somewhere. Uh, well, anyway, so UDP. All right, there we go. Now, if we wanted to go ahead and do a trace route, let's say I wanted to trace route my route to google.com. I run the route and it sends a series of ICMP packets with different time to live until it figures out the path to get from, well, my machine to Google. Now I could try doing the exact same thing with a TCP minus T and then I need to pass in a port number. So let's go port 80. And it wants me to have elevated privileges, so I do a pseudo in front of that, and you can see the path gets there. Um, it looks like the path might be slightly different. Um, there's this number right here and this number right here. Um, it does seem like it eventually got to the same place, but it's hard to tell exactly what happened. Either way, it got there. If I do the exact same thing with port UDP, then I'd probably want to, well, something that would work. And it probably doesn't work great if you're using an incompatible port number because, well, we don't actually know what this is, but uh, if you do ns1.google.com, that would probably work. And you can see out to their name server, you try doing UDP, and for the most part, it gets there. But then you see this thing right here, all these stars, those indicate that you are just not getting anything. You don't know what's going on. It's just saying it's just increasing the time to live and nothing's coming back. So you need to be aware of that. Sometimes you can use one method and it works and a different method doesn't work. So let's go ahead and try going over to, uh, let's try MIT. So if I do a trace route to MIT.edu, I can see it kind of goes down there and it sits there for a little bit and then nothing's coming back. But one thing that's interesting is you can see it's going to Akamai.com, which indicates to me that we're not actually going over to MIT. In fact, we're going to some local place that is hosting the web server because they don't want to have you going all the way over to MIT. I'm over here in Oregon. And MIT is in Massachusetts, so 13 milliseconds is not really possible. So let's try getting a little closer. Let's try cs.mit.edu. All right, now we can see the numbers jump up quite a bit. Now instead of 13, it's going up much higher, but it still doesn't get there. 73. We're probably actually at MIT at this point, but we don't know for sure. So we say, well, ICMP-based trace route is not working. So let's do a TCP-based with port number 80. And let's see if that works. And you get over there, and suddenly you make it all the way there. It gets there, and the reverse lookup all looks good. So you can kind of figure out how to do this. Uh, if you wanted to know exactly which one to hit for UDP, UDP typically does best when you hit something that you know is a DNS server or something else running a UDP protocol. So you can always do a, a dig if you have dig installed as you cs.mit.edu. And you can see, okay, this is the 
machine right here. And if I wanted to do a type NS, then I can say, well, okay, who is the name servers? And it indicates, it seems to indicate that the name server is this one right here, which means I can probably hit that one as the one I'm going to do a trace route to which just happens to be the same thing as this because it's a C name over there. All right, now I'll do a 53 and change it to a UDP and see if we can get all the way through. And if we're doing this, it's still possible it's going to not get there, but we can see we, we made it over there. All right, so this gives you a little bit of an idea of how to use a trace route. Um, know that Sometimes ICMP gets through, your default. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes TCP gets through, and sometimes it doesn't. And sometimes UDP gets through, and sometimes it doesn't. So just practice the different ones, see what happens, see what you can get through. And there you go.